I'm going to insert some of the default doors of the bag. For this, I have to convert the project back to 2D and edit the group of the main floor plan. Now I can click on the door tool of the bag and a window pops up with the attributes of the dynamic component. Here I can set different parameters and click OK to insert the door. In the back we have different methods to insert the joinery. We can insert it freely when the component turns pink when it is placed in the wall. I'm going to change the attributes of this door to show you the different methods. For this I have to click on the door icon again and change some of its parameters. If I press the tab key, you can see that the insertion point snaps from the extreme to the center of the component. If I keep it in the extreme, I will have the option to force the insertion of the door at a certain distance from an intersection. I can set this distance by typing the value in the measurement box. There are two parameters in the box, elevation and force. As you can see, they are separated with a semicolon. So if I want to change the force value, I need to type semicolon and 1.49 for example. Now I can take the door to the wall and press control to force it at a certain distance of the closest intersection. You can see that if I take it close to this wall and I press control, it will force itself at 1.49 from that intersection. However, if I want to take it to the other wall, then I have to take it closer to that intersection, press CTRL, and as you can see, the wall is exactly at 1.49 meters from that intersection. I'm going to insert the rest of the walls, changing some of its attributes. I can also change the elevation that the door will have from the ground when the floor plan is converted to 3D. For this, I just have to type the new elevation in the measurement box of a SketchUp before placing the door. The other method to insert the door in our 2D floor plan is by placing the door in the center of two intersections of the wall. For this, I have to press the tab key to keep the insertion point in the center of the component and then click CTRL when I position the door in any wall. I'm going to create a double door by setting the length of each slab individually. Now I'll set the elevation back to zero and insert this doll in this location here. Let's now convert the floor plan to 3D to see how it looks like. The default doors of the bag have a rotation attribute assigned to them. So if I open the dynamic component toolbar, I can click in each door and the slab will rotate 90 degrees. 